Hello guys, this is Nilesh Kamre and in this video we are going to see how to troubleshoot issue related to your PC did not start correctly and this error comes that press restart to restart your PC and first of all you have to restart your computer, your PC to check if uh, this is resolving automatically or not. If uh, after restart as well you are facing this issue then you have to follow troubleshooting steps that I am going to show you in this video. So let's go ahead and start the troubleshooting. So here you have to click on advanced options and once you click on advanced options it will give you three options continue troubleshoot and turn off. You have to click on troubleshoot here. Once you click on troubleshoot it will show you two options reset this PC and advanced options again. You have to click on advanced options. So click on advanced options. And then here you will find uh, six options and you have to click on command prompt just try to click on command prompt and then it will give you user account name and then you have to type the password it will give you this uh, uh, black window it is called uh, cmd command prompt and then you have to type some of the commands here now the first command is bootrig.exe space forward slash fix mbr and you can see the operation is completed successfully. Now the second command is bootrig.exe space forward slash fix boot and now it is giving me access is denied. I don't know why but uh, this command doesn't uh, run successfully. Now the third command is bootrig.exe space forward slash scan os. Now this is going to take some time. Just wait for some time to complete this command and then we have to run one more. Fourth command is bootrig.exe space forward slash rebuild bcd and you have to press enter after typing this command. This will also complete it successfully once you, uh, once you run this once you run these commands, you have to restart the computer. You have to type exit on this screen, on this black screen. And you will get these options. Choose an option that is continue, troubleshoot and turn off your PC. Uh, you have to select exit and continue to Windows 10. Click on continue. You see my computer is still not working and it is giving me error that is PNP detected fatal error it restart automatically and you can see it is again boot into automatic repair mode so so with this option the with this troubleshooting step it is not working it might work for you you should try this and if it is not working, we have to follow another troubleshooting method that I'm going to show you again. Click on advanced options and then click on troubleshoot. Now click on reset this PC. Now there are two options, keep my files and remove everything. I will reset this PC will help you to reinstall your operating system. Uh, there are two options, keep my files and remove everything. If you want to keep your files, just click on keep my files but it will remove your applications and settings the second option is remove everything if you want to remove everything like personal files applications and settings you have to select remove everything but i'm going to keep my files that is a better option to keep your files so i'm going to keep uh, my files and then click on keep and then select the user account and then type the user account password Click on continue and it will give you two options reset this PC like cloud download and local reinstall. I will select local reinstall because I don't want to use my internet connection for this computer. If you want to download the latest version of your Windows operating system then you can click on cloud download and then it will download your uh, Windows from a Microsoft website and then it will reinstall on your computer. I don't want to do that. So I will click on local reinstall. So I will select local reinstall here. Uh, now you can see it is giving us a message that it will restart 
it will reset your computer and change settings back to the default keep personal files it will keep your personal files reinstall windows from this device and remove all the application and programs that didn't come up with your pc so if you have installed any applications like microsoft office then uh, photoshop or whatever it is which doesn't come up with windows installation it will re uh, it will remove all the applications and programs so once you select this option click on reset and then it will start resetting your computer and it is going to take some time like one hour or one and a half hour so you have to wait until this completes and it will give you the fresh installation of your computer and you will be able to log into your computer like you were able to log in so that's it for this video if you like this video please hit the like button please hit the subscribe and press the bell icon to enable notifications for future videos thanks and bye bye